morning guys I wanted to answer another question I think it's a fairly common question that I get from a lot of my customers and just what I hear in general is what temperature do I set my thermostat on because I've seen thermostats set ever anywhere from 55 all the way to 85 now we're gonna say during a normal circumstance where you don't think your air conditioner is broken because people will do some crazy stuff when they think their air conditioner is broken they'll set their thermostat on some different settings expecting but we'll, we'll talk about that at a different time but the normal set points as far as what I've come accustomed to and what my design my design temperatures are as far as load calculation are 70 degrees for heating and 75 degrees for cooling so if I think you stay near there you're gonna be fine of course if you raise the temperature in heating you have a higher head pressure for a heat pump so there'll be a little bit more energy loss for sure not just that it'll run more, it'll run at a higher energy draw. So it'll actually take more energy to run. In a furnace, of course, the warmer the furnace is, uh, the tougher it is for the internal components like a heat exchanger, but a few degrees, probably not the end of the world. But in general, of course, it'll be more of a strain. In cooling, the colder you go, you do have a danger of icing up your own unit. If you're getting setting into the mid 60s in your house, your return air is coming back in the mid 60s or low 60s, you could definitely ice up your unit during normal operation. Meaning that it's not broken, it's just not designed to run at that low of a temperature. Most of the time I see the lowest temperature I really see set in cooling is 70 or so, which is okay, it's still kind of cold, it's not the best for energy efficiency, but it shouldn't freeze up a coil unless you have a low airflow issue or a secondary issue. So. I wanted to address that just because that's a pretty common question. If you have any more, you can write them in the comments below. And I hope all of you have a good day.